There are two things that we all want for our new sled. Big power and a long life full of deep powder to play in. If you're riding one of these, a 2023 Summit X with expert package, 850 Turbo R, 154, 3.0 with shot, in platinum satin and manta green, well, you already have power. If you need to pick one up or snow check one for next year, give us a call. Now, the second part. How do we, with decades of experience and thousands of happy customers, guarantee a long life for our engines? That's what we're going to show you today. In addition to this sled's first ride of the year, we're also going to take you back into our service department and show you some of the behind the scenes footage of how we uncrate, assemble, and prep a new snowmobile before our customers ever see them. Let's get back there. Do you see this plaque? It is not easy to get. We are proud to be the 2022 Skidoo Dealer of the Year for our region. We are a high volume sales and service operation with both BRP and Polaris certified techs, and well over a hundred years of combined experience. When a snowmobile is shipped to us, it's not fully put together, nor is it broken in. Once the crate is removed and all the parts set aside, the first step is to grease and install the skis. Next, we install and set the adjustment on the front and the rear shocks. After the suspension is set, we remove the bodywork and clean the exhaust with brake cleaner to remove some of the materials used in assembly and to prevent the sled from billowing smoke when we first fire it up. The stickers come off and then we set the track tension and alignment. All right, next we plug into the sled and set the units to Imperial. We program the sled's name, usually G-Force. We program the key, and we check the oil pump compensation number. After this, we top off the two-stroke oil and start the clutching process. G-Force is proud of our proprietary custom clutching for all the sleds that we sell. We use all OEM parts and have tested these builds for maximum performance and longevity in the Colorado mountain conditions. This process consists of a couple replacements and some adjustments. That's pretty much all we're gonna say, but it's designed to get you the best performance uh, for our customers on the Colorado mountains. Lastly, we clean everything off and button it back up and we run two heat cycles here at the shop. This gets the piston ring seated as good as possible without running the sled under load. But that brings us to our next chapter, the sled's first ride. Okay, it's your turn. We've built your sled to the best of our ability and it's time for another heat cycle under load and the break-in miles. Here are three key things to remember when you're breaking in your sled for the first time. Number one, no neutral throttle. The engine is run, but not under load. You don't want it to get comfortable at any specific RPM. So blip the throttle and deliver power by opening and closing the throttle as needed. If you're in deep snow, Avoid prolonged periods of full throttle and try and keep blipping the throttle so that the engine is constantly changing RPMs. Number two, give it one last good heat cycle. That means cooling it. So go easy out of the parking lot and ride for about 12 miles, give or take based on your snow conditions until the sled is fully up to operating temperature. Now, it's time to take off the bodywork and let in that cold air. If the piston rings have any room to seat, this will help lock them into the fully seated position. Wait around until the engine's cooled off enough so that you can touch the back of your hand to it. Once it's cooled off, button it back up and you're ready to go. Third, the break-in process is an electronically controlled program. It starts at 100 or 99 break-in units and climbs down slowly to zero when the sled is fully broken in. At 99, the sled is using extra oil and gas for maximum lubrication of the internals of the motor. As you climb down from 100, the snowmobile automatically reduces this rich mixture of gas and oil until you arrive at the intended fuel mixture. The break in progress is influenced by your fuel volume consumption. It has nothing to do with the mileage or the hours on the machine, and this is a super common misconception. Okay, there you have it, goal accomplished. 
You've reached zero and your sled is broken in. It has the best chances of max power and a long life. We are here as a resource for our audience and customers. If you have any questions about this video, the process, or questions about GeForce, chime in in the comments and let us know what you think. If you're in the market for a snowmobile, come by and see us. Or hit the link in the description and see what we have in stock. Drop your info on the website and we'll have one of our product specialists reach out to you. We have more videos like this coming. We want to discuss gear, locations, sled variations, and what it's like being a beginner on a snowmobile. If you're new to snowmobiling, Colorado, or power sports, hit the subscribe button. We are here to bring power sports to you via YouTube and teach you and help making riding in Colorado as accessible as possible. Well, Donnie, I fell down.